people and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to share your games through your local internet. Now what you're going to need of course is your gaming PC and whatever other computer that you want to use um, to access games through. So this is my laptop. Um, I'm using TeamViewer to show it because it's quicker. So as you guys can see none of my games are, pre are now installed at this computer and this is my library, let's just see. Um, also, remote play is disabled, just to make it easier. Um, and let's see, download Steam libraries. So I only have two um, games, so to say, installed on this uh, certain drive. But on the other hand, this is my gaming PC. Um, let's open Steam. Here I've got all my games installed. So obviously what I want to do is I want to be able to share in some way uh, all of these games without having to actually put them on my laptop. So we can do that through local internet sharing. Oh Jesus. We can do that through local internet sharing and I'll show you how to do it now. So what did I do wrong? Oh god, get close. So first thing you want to do is you just locate the drive where you've got your Steam li library on. In this case it's this SSD. Because uh, you can check, Steam li library, here it is. And here's all my games. So what I want to do is I want to be able to actually share this drive with that laptop. And in order to do that you want to go, it was right open, but you want to go to settings, then network and internet then go to change connection properties and then put this on private then what you want to do is you want to go two times back go to sharing options and make sure you got about the same settings that I have so make sure this is turned on make sure this is turned on and make sure this is turned off at least you can turn it on but I'll turn it off for the sake of this video and make sure this is turned on then and what you want to do then is you want to go to the drive you just used which is SSD uh, which you have your games on you want to right click it go to properties and then go to sharing when you're right there you want to go and press advanced sharing then share this folder then give it a name because this will be the name that it pops up on um, I'm just gonna call it the same as it's already called SSD on terabyte there we go and then you want to click on permissions. This is really important, guys. Click on permissions, and then automatically it will say only read, but you actually want to give it full control. Because in order for Steam to use this drive over the local internet, it will have to be able to write and change the files, not only read them. You can leave it on read, but then you'll only be able to, co to copy the games that are on the drive, not to use them and to play on it. Guys, if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, just put full control. Then press apply and press OK. Apply, OK, and then close. Now, as you guys can see, there has come a little icon here, so that means it's sharing. And now, when we go to the laptop again, and we go to files, explorer, and then go to network go to the specific computer that is um, your gaming computer so in this case this is my computer open it and as you guys can see the SSD one terabyte is right there these are other uh, drives that I already did um, don't look at these not important just this one. we open it and as you guys can see we can open it that's one thing so it's not given any errors if it does um, I got um, another video in showing how to fix that specific error, uh, error. Now let's test something, let's try and write something in order that way we'll be able to see, yeah, and we can write. If you didn't do your settings right, this won't work. So are you sure you want to permanently do it? Yes. So now we can write, we know that as well. Now to open the folder, it's quite, uh, it's not that much steps anymore. You want to add this specific, so we have, we know we have this one now, but it's now still a file online. We want to have to be uh, we gotta have to be able to open it through this computer so what you want to do is simple right click it and then map network to fr drive then give it a specific letter it 
it's just starting automatically from zap which is good and then finish so now you can see it, it acts like it's now in the network drives so this is really important in order to see it on steam because if you don't do that step you won't be able to see it in one of these so now as you guys can see Z is visible click on it click on the uh, click go to steam library obviously which is for me it's here and then select wait a second and as you guys can see it is now added and we can close this down yeah, my, my laptop is not as, as fast but close this down and as you guys can see most not all of them are installed so guys I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you don't uh, if you have any questions about this video because I know I went over it really quickly but just ask them in the comments and I'll try to respond as quick as possible uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video